Well, we are proud to welcome wine guy Mike on this Friday evening. He is actually going to take us on a trip to Washington State to the Hedges family estates, in fact, where they make new world wines in an old world style. Good evening, Mike. Very well said, Angela. Thank you. I spent this morning uh, early uh, speaking with the uh, sales and marketing director from the Hedges family estate. They're in the Red Mountain uh, viticulture area. That's one of 11 areas or regions within the greater Columbia Valley uh, American viticulture area. And it's kind of a newer undiscovered area and they're growing some amazing grapes, producing some great wines. And that's what we have here tonight in these Hedges family estate wines. These are wines uh, that I feel offer uh, extreme value for the uh, wine lover. And we've got uh, two wines. We've got a Merlot, which has been a bit out of style and out of trend, if you will, in the wine world and a, a bit maligned. And then Chardonnay, which also, you know, people are sick of over-oaked Chardonnays. So starting with the Merlot, I mean, this is a beautiful example of a real Bordeaux-like uh, Merlot, which is one of the uh, main varietals grown in uh, Bordeaux. Uh, it's made in an old world style where they've kept their hands off of it. It's restrained and what they've done, they haven't played with it much. It's uh, a true medium bodied wine. It's very soft, very silky tannins on the palate, very cocoa like tannins. Mm. It's got some nuances of uh, a little bit of coffee. You get a little bit of smoke, a little bit of earth, a little bit of meat, some nice fruit in there. And when I say meat, that's something that's very favorable with the French. Uh, they call it anime. And uh, so this is a spectacular wine. This is a Chablis-like Chardonnay mm. uh, that offers uh, nice fruit and acidity. This is great with shellfish. This Merlot is gonna be great with a nice summer salad with some nice fresh tomatoes in it. Uh, this is an outstanding wine that, again, these are both $14 wines, so they offer great value over in the Red Mountain viticulture area of Washington State. And it is also in a great area, too, because it's one that's kind of within driving distance for our viewers. It, it is. It's, you know, Washington State anywhere. Um, this is in the eastern side of the state, and it's on south-facing slopes. They're up at about 1,000 feet of elevation. Great place to visit great place to grow grapes, great place to drink wine. Very good. And so for the Mer Merlot, do you recommend um, pouring it into the glass of wine and letting it sit to let the tannins come out? You know, this one is very soft and supple as is. I mean, you can literally pour it in a glass and it's great to drink, um, as is the Chardonnay. The Chardonnay, I recommend drinking at close to room temperature to get the full uh, breadth and depth of the nuances of the wine. Um, you can decan it. I always recommend decanning wines because then you're going to bring out the very best in the wine. Uh, but these are just two spectacular wines that are some of the best uh, America really has to offer. All right, very good. Wine Guy Mike, thanks again. We'll Cheers. see you back here in two minutes. 